Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. So today I have another styling video for you. I have eight autumn winter focus outfits on the rail behind me. Um, most of the pieces are already existing from my wardrobe but I do have a couple of new pieces and accessories to share with you. I think this is my first actual autumn winter video rather than just autumn because the weather has changed and it is getting a little bit colder. So I've definitely got more layering pieces, more thicker knits, some scarves, boots and just everything to keep us nice and cozy for the next couple months so like I say a lot of the pieces on the rail are already from my existing wardrobe but I do have some new pieces and most of them are from Farfetch I think a lot of you know by now Farfetch is one of my absolute favorite places to shop especially coming into each different season they just have the most incredible amount of selection from clothes to accessories to bags to shoes to beauty to home they really cover everything and it is a one-stop shop if you are not too familiar with Farfetch then basically they are an online hub and they have so many different pieces on there. So what they do is they source all the items from different brands, boutiques and department stores all across the world and they ship them to us. The shipping time is crazy fast, anything from next day to four or five days and that is the pieces from all over the world. I also always touch on this because I find it such an important part of shopping but the returns process is so so easy. You literally do an order if you want to return anything or you've ordered multiple sizes and you want to send some back. Then you just log on to your account, schedule a pickup, up, package everything back into the original box and somebody will come to your house and collect it on a day that you choose which I just think is great and like I already said they also have a very very amazing section of beauty and also home so you see the vase on the chest of drawers behind me Farfetch stock them they also stock so many amazing candle brands and just really gorgeous pieces to add into your home and also pieces that would be amazing as gifts and then of course if you're doing a little bit of shopping for yourself and you need to pick up a new perfume or a new piece of makeup you can head over to their beauty section and also do some beauty shopping as well so a really really great shop and a very easy system overall so of course I do have a new discount code it gets you 10% off most brands and um, that is 10 FF Nadia and that works for new and existing customers I will pop all the T's and C's of that down below so what I'm gonna do is run you through each outfit on the rail and I will talk to you about the new pieces as we go anything I've shown you will of course be linked down below so just head down there if you would like to shop anything and let's get into it okay so outfit number one is styled around these amazing Anina Bing jeans. I got these on Farfetch. Farfetch have such a good selection of Anina Bing and also I have done loads of my orders from Anina Bing on Farfetch and I've also done an order from the actual Anina Bing website and ordering it from the website, the delivery honestly, I think it was like 10 to 12 days which was crazy and then at Farfetch you can get it as soon as the next day so that is something to note. But these jeans I absolutely fell in love with. They are a kind of washed black style. You can see they kind of look lived in which I really really like especially because this is quite like a cool style of jean they are pretty much skimmed to the body to about the knee and then they flare out and they have a raw hem and they also have this really lovely kind of split feature on the front so these are going to be my absolute go-to date night jeans anything a little bit more dressy I need to wear a pair of heels with these because they are a little bit long but I feel like that hem is really lending itself to a nice pair of heels I haven't tried this yet but I feel like these will look really nice with closed toe stiletto boots so I think that could be nice coming into winter but yes for this outfit I have popped on my new jeans because I want this outfit to really be about the jeans and I want the jeans to be kind of the focus I have kept the top kind of simple so underneath here I just have a kind of boxy oversized black t-shirt I feel like popping on some gold jewelry here will really really accentuate it as well and then in terms of my jacket there's a few things you could do you could do a long woolen coat you could do an oversized blazer which will keep it quite cool but I feel like overall this outfit does look quite chic and I thought this little Karen Millen jacket would just be perfect also this style of jacket or cardigan or kind of like overcoat is very in right now and yeah I just absolutely love it and I feel like it was the perfect pairing with the jeans on my feet I've popped on my GM Vito I think they're called the Portofino heels these were the most incredible purchase I think I got these at the start of this year from Farfetch and I have worn them to death they are the perfect barely their heel super super comfortable the heel height isn't crazy high as well it is actually quite manageable and I just think they are the most flattering heels ever and then to finish that off I have another Anina Bing piece and this is the either Dana or Dana bag I'm not sure how you say it I saw this on Farfetch and 
could not resist. I thought it was so, so beautiful. Especially coming into autumn, winter, I feel like my wardrobe becomes a little bit more dressy, a little bit more chic. I wear a lot of kind of like stiletto boots and blazers and a lot of tailoring. And I feel like this is just the most perfect bag ever. So this is what it looks like. It has some gold hardware. It's very kind of um, smart in its shape and it can be worn crossbody or top handle. So here is the shoulder strap or crossbody strap. I love the thickness of it. I feel like it brings something a little bit more casual into a very smart piece and it also has a little compartment on the back for putting cards and things like that and then this is actually a very very spacious bag it is one big compartment and there's a little zip section in the back again for cards or just for storing things that you need easy access to but this is probably one of my biggest bags i actually own for day-to-day -day wear you're going to get everything and more that you need in here which is so handy so yeah i will probably be wearing this bag with most of the outfits on the rail so keep a look out for it but i feel like this was the perfect handbag to finish off that outfit. Moving on to something a little bit more smart casual rather than smart. This is one of my favorite colors to wear at this time of year. Same with like the dress I'm wearing. I just really love these kind of darker neutrals. So this gorgeous big oversized knitted dress is actually from Pretty Lavish. And I love the big neckline. I love the wide sleeves. And this does come down all the way to probably like my mid shin. And I love that this has a split on one side as well. So you are seeing a little bit more leg and then a very, very slight sexy element is added in as well so the way I love to wear this dress is to belt the waist so around the middle of my waist I've popped on this little belt from Zara this is old but I do have some really good alternatives I will link down below I do love to belt oversized dresses and knitted dresses quite a lot because I feel like it really just brings a little bit of shape into your body especially over the autumn winter where coats are oversized and jumpers are oversized and that dress is oversized I feel like giving a little bit of shape back into your body really helps the outfit also I really love the fact that this dress is quite oversized and it is quite warm but you also can layer up underneath the dress which means you may not have to wear a jacket especially for the next kind of six to eight weeks anyway so underneath that you can pop on some leggings you can pop on a thermal top on my feet I am wearing a new pair of shoes these are from Stuart Weitzman again I found these on Farfetch so this is what my boots look like I absolutely love them I've been on the hunt for a more kind of casual ankle boot with a heel something that I can wear day to day but also in the evening this heel height is perfect i think it's going to be very comfortable it's really not that big at all but it still gives the kind of effect of a stiletto high boot they have a pointed front they're in a gorgeous gorgeous soft suede and they are very very simple other than that so there's no zips or anything like that they're very much a kind of sock boot slip on boot so i have actually owned Stuart Weitzman boots before i had the kind of thigh high ones remember everybody was wearing them back in the day and i remember them being very very comfortable so i have tried these on and kind of worn them around the house I haven't actually worn them out yet but so far they feel the same very comfortable and I feel like if I have maybe a day of meetings and I want to be able to wear a heeled boot these will be the ones I reach for because they will be comfortable so I popped them on with the dress I feel like they were the perfect style to wear with it as I say these are more of a smart casual boot for me and I think they complemented the dress and the belt and everything worked perfectly depending on how smart you want the outfit you could wear this bag you could even wear this one as a crossbody or you could opt for something completely different, but I feel like this bag worked perfectly. Okay, moving on, a very casual look. My favorite kind of outfit to wear for the next couple months. One, because I love the way it looks, and two, because it's actually very practical. If you guys have dogs, or you just like to go on daily walks, this is the kind of outfit you will love. So, I styled it around as this new gorgeous jumper from Anina Bing. It's kind of giving me like the jumper version of the dress, although a little bit darker and the sleeves are cuffed. But like I say, I absolutely adore this tone and I just love dark greens and khakis. So this is a very soft wool mixed jumper. Very kind of slouchy and oversized and casual in its fit. Like I say, the arms are cuffed, which is nice. It kind of emphasizes the oversized sleeve. And then it does have a kind of funnel neck, which I love. So you don't actually have to roll it, but it just will sit really nice and snug around your neck. Like I say, this is an ultimate comfort outfit. So I've popped on my Reese leggings. These are so good. If any of you guys bought the Spanx ones that I've spoken about many times. These are kind of like the more fashion style of the Spanx ones. So the Spanx ones are literally dog walking at home, working out. Whereas these I style up for like my day to day style and I think they look so good. Very, very thick. They really, really suck you in. Like there's elastic in them, but 
tight elastic so very very nice and comfortable over at the top of that i've popped on my big oversized acne jacket now my discount code does not work on acne but farfetch did have this exact biker jacket on their website a couple weeks ago so hopefully it's still up if not they have a great selection of similar ones so i will link that down below but i popped this over at the top i have worn this jacket to death since i bought it it is such a staple in my autumn winter wardrobe it's also just the perfect oversized piece to put over chunkier knits and chunkier dresses and hoodies and it's just I just love it depending on where you are going with this outfit you could wear either kind of boot so if I'm gonna go really casual maybe I'm doing a dog walk and then a pub for lunch I'm gonna go for my Doc Martens however if I am like kind of running errands and I'm in town and I just want to look comfortable but also stylish I'm gonna pop on my chunky sandal boots I wear them both equally and they serve me for many different outfits and occasions these sandal ones are on Farfetch so you will be able to get 10% off them so I'll pop them down below and then just for ultimate comfort and warm picked up this scarf on Farfetch and I absolutely love it. How stunning are the tones in here? So you might have seen from my Instagram I wear a lot of neutrals. I'm either in a full neutral outfit or I'm in a full black outfit. So I feel like this was the perfect scarf for both of those. So as you can probably tell this is from Jacquemus and it's a gorgeous soft and thick cozy scarf. It's got a little bit of fringing on the ends and what I really loved about this is one side does not have any kind of branding and the other side does. So you can kind of choose whatever style you like but I feel like this was just the perfect chuck on piece to finish off that outfit. Okay next up another kind of casual date night look styled around this beautiful jumper from Marge. So this is the most gorgeous soft jumper ever and I will say I think it's really difficult to find a jumper at this tone and this fit especially if you're on the hunt for it. I find there's like none that are perfect and then when you're not on the hunt and you see it you have to pick it up. So that's exactly what I did with this one. I just really loved the kind of knit detail on it. So so it does have this slight bra effect. It doesn't feel like it's emphasizing it. It just feels like a really lovely kind of knit detail. And you can also probably see there like the knits going that way and then the knits kind of coming in. And little simple details like that I feel like has just really made the jumper. So I just know I'm going to get so much wear out of this. It's going to be such a good date night one. You just want to make your outfit really simple. You just want to put a simple pair of jeans on, a simple knit. Equally pairing this with tailored trousers or just with jeans or leather trousers in the day. I just think it's a very good piece to have in the wardrobe and it is timeless also it's extremely stretchy so it is a knit but there's a lot of elastin in here i also really adored the neckline of this mock high neck so as you can see it's just a little bit higher than a crew neck which i really appreciate also it looks beautiful with gold jewelry or necklaces laying over it so i started off with that top as i say this is a date night look and it's the kind of date night look i would wear non-stop over the next five or six months especially if you're just heading to like a little pub or just want to do something nice and casual but still look nice and presentable so my go-to would be a skinny pair of black jeans these ones are Zara I will link them down below because they are incredible super comfortable really really flattering and I don't think I've found a pair of black jeans as good as these since Topshop Joni on my feet I've popped on my new boots I feel like this outfit is the perfect example of how easy these boots are going to fit into my wardrobe they are going to work literally for everything especially anything with a jean or a skinny jean I know I'm going to reach for these all the time I also really love that these are nice and tight around the leg so it gives you that kind of streamlined look and then to style this one up and add something a little bit more interesting into it I've popped on my new belt from Balenciaga again my code works on this so you can get 10% off I feel like this would be a really great gift for someone as well coming into the Christmas season but this is the black and gold hourglass belt so it's mock croc black and then on the front is a kind of brushed gold they did have this in a shiny gold but I feel like the brushed gold just looked a little bit more expensive and a little bit less kind of in your face. I also just really love the size of this. It's a lot smaller than most of my belts. And like I say, it's quite discreet, but it definitely does the job. So I put that onto my jeans. And I also feel like because this is brushed, it works really nicely with this neutral tone of the top. Of course, here I'm gonna add my Anina Bing handbag. And like you can see, again, just the little touches of gold are all working really nicely together. And then if I did want a coat, I would do a long kind of smart masculine coat. I have this one from Massimo Duty, which without a doubt is my most worn coat ever and I feel like this just finishes off the outfit so beautifully. The outfit looks really lovely and smart and chic and put together and I also feel like this would work day to night. If you did also want a little bit extra warmth the Jacquemus scarf popped over this would look amazing. Okay so my next outfit again is quite a casual one but it's the most casual one of the rail. I feel like any of you girls in the countryside 
outside or any of you girls that like to do walking or go to the gym or any dog mums are going to love this. So of course I have a lot of puffer jackets, a lot of cozy pieces. Like I say, I will have to walk my dog and so I do wear them a lot. I did want a puffer jacket that wasn't exactly fashionable. It was very simple, does the job, does what it says on the tin. And when I saw this one from Lululemon, I fell in love with it and got it straight away. So Lululemon is a company that I have only really got into this year. And I've heard about the hype for so many years from so many different people, but I actually finally tried like their sportswear this year and it was impeccable and I understand the hype. So I thought this jacket would be such a good addition. So this is a very simple little puffer coat, really, really soft in its material. It doesn't feel like your typical puffer jacket. It's actually just really, really soft. It is also down filled and it has a detachable hood. I feel like this is going to get used so, so much over the next couple of years, especially things like when I go up to Scotland, this is gonna be very, very handy. Also where we do kind of like country weekends or Cotswolds trips, this is gonna be perfect for all of those things. So yeah, I just thought it would be really good to add this to my wardrobe and I absolutely love it. I feel like there isn't much more I can really say about it other than that, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it and I love it. So I'm sure I don't really have to tell you much about how to style this up. It is, like I say, very, very practical. But just to give you an example, I've popped on a big hoodie. This one is from Mango, very simple. Again, I'm popping on my leggings from Reese or any kind of leggings would be perfect. But just because these are thicker, they are my favorite for this time of year. I will 100% be finishing off this look with my Doc Martens, so, so comfortable. If you guys are looking for these boots for winter, get this style. So these are the 8i Pascal soft leather. So, so comfortable, you don't have to break them in. The leather is gorgeous and soft from literally like day one. I can go on three hour walks with these and my feet are perfectly fine at the end of it. So I'm gonna pop these ones down below. Make sure if you're gonna get Dr. Martens, get these because you will thank me later. Okay, next up, my favorite outfit on the rail. So I feel like I always have to tell you guys which one is my favorite, but this is my favorite. So this again, very kind of smart casual look, soft tailoring in these trousers. So they are high-waisted, wide leg, slouchy, and they have belt loops. These are a pair from Zara. Zara's probably my favorite place to get slouchy, soft tailoring, smart casual pieces. For my jumper, any black jumper would work for this outfit, but I am wearing my Celine one. I actually picked this up in the sale at a little shop in Scotland and I love it so much. I don't want to wear it non-stop because I do want to keep it as a special jumper. But equally saying that, I don't want to not ever wear it. So I am trying to get the wear out of it now that it's a little bit colder. So this is a very simple knitted crew neck jumper with a tiny bit of branding on it. But like I say, any black jumper will work for this look. So I've actually done this outfit in two ways. So the first way is jumper, trousers, and also adding my Balenciaga belt around the belt loops. Popping on my Chloe trainers these are the black versions have not got the wear out of these that I thought I would and I think it's because it's very kind of stark having the black and the white but they do look really good with all black outfits so popping on my Chloe Lauren lace sneakers finishing that whole look off with my Massimo Dutti wool coat like I said earlier I love this it's a very kind of masculine fit very kind of oversized but also leaning into that smart casual tailoring and then I feel like this bag was just the most perfect style to finish off that look again you've got the kind of casual trousers with the smart smart element of tailoring. The jacket is a smart casual piece again because the actual style of it is smart but it's oversized and quite masculine so it's leaning into that casual side. Then I'm popping on my trainers and I feel like this bag was just the perfect piece to finish it off. So that was the first way of doing this outfit for more of a casual style if I was just kind of running errands, wanting to be comfortable but still look smart. But if I wanted to make this look a little bit more smart, I'm popping on my heel boots from Stuart Weitzman. I think these look really really nice with the trousers and because they are suede I feel like they blend more into the trouser. I have a pair of leather ones, which you guys will have seen from Zara. I love them, but I feel like when I wear them with trousers like this, you can really see the shoe to the trouser. Whereas I feel like these look really streamlined. And then I'm gonna take my belt off of my belt loops and I'm gonna shut my jacket and put the belt all the way around the jacket. And I was obsessed with this look. I think it is such an easy way to bring a casual outfit to looking very smart. Also, it's very comfortable. So if I had a full day of meetings and I did wanna look a little bit more dressed up, I feel like this is the perfect perfect outfit to look nice and smart and look really chic but actually it's still practical it's warm it's comfortable and then of course my Anita Bing bag to finish this off okay and then just one more outfit very very simple kind of the outfit I would reach for most days works for smart or something a little bit more casual again so I'm taking these leather leggings faux leather leggings or actually I wouldn't even say faux leather they're more of a coated legging but super comfortable really stretchy elastic waistband really lovely and fitted to my leg I'll give you a little close up of 
of the material. And then I'm gonna pop on my big chunky Nina Bing jumper. I'm gonna tuck the front of that into the top of the leggings and just kind of crop the front of the jumper a little bit. Again, that just brings in a little bit of shape to my body the same way a belt around a dress does. Over the top of that, another Massimo Duty coat. This is a woolen trench coat. I absolutely love it. I have worn this so much since I got it. It also comes in a more kind of gray, kind of navy color, but this color I feel like fits so nicely into my wardrobe. And yeah, I just absolutely love it, especially paired with the green jumper underneath. I think it's a really lovely match. And then on my feet, I've popped on my smarter boots. These are my Sandra ones. Also, this little touch of gold on the front, I think looks so nice. Really just works with the little touches of gold via the jewelry or via the hardware on the bag. Such a simple detail, but I do always notice stuff like that. And that was it for that outfit. So very simple in each piece. But all together it looks really cool, really chic, kind of like that thrown on vibe. Didn't really think much about my outfit, but actually you do look amazing. Okay, so that was the end of all the outfits on the row. I really hope you guys enjoyed that and got some inspiration. Remember, anything you want to shop on Farfetch, I will pop my discount code down below and on screen. But it is 10FF Nadia, and that will get you 10% off most brands at checkout. Everything else I mentioned will be linked down below as per usual. And if you guys did like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.